It's been declared a public health emergency in Arizona, opioid abuse and addiction. In two weeks in June, state officials reported 36 babies were born in Arizona with possible drug-related withdrawal symptoms. Now your side's Whitney Clark shows us how a Tucson hospital helps the babies born into the opioid epidemic. This room in the NICU at Tucson Medical Center is empty for now, and that's a good thing. The quiet space is for babies born with neonatal abstinence syndrome, or NAS. That's when a baby has withdrawal symptoms because the mother took certain drugs during pregnancy. Each rocket on the wall represents a newborn who has been discharged from NASA, the Neonatal Abstinence Syndrome Annex. We developed it over a year ago. And the reason why we were developing it is because we saw such a high increase in opiate use. And that includes your heroin, prescription drugs, street drugs. That's Lori Gronwald, a licensed clinical social worker with TMC, who says babies may be in the annex for two weeks to two months. Withdrawal symptoms include extreme high-pitched cries or crankiness, shaking, the jitters, or seizures. The NICU can be busy with lots of noise and bright lights. NAS babies get specialized treatment, including natural lighting, soft music, and tools to keep them calm. TMC says it's currently the only hospital in southern Arizona with a specific area for babies born with NAS. So far this year, 31 babies have gone through the NASA program. That number has been going up. In 2015, when TMC began keeping track, there were 26 NAS cases in the NICU. Last year, there were more than 50. These are only babies that end up in the NICU. Um, we have um, probably um, two to three times more opiate exposed babies that don't end up in the NICU that are just delivered. They stay five days for monitoring and they go home. Before they are allowed to go home, Kelly Irving with Kodak says mothers are provided a wide range of therapy services in the NICU. We were really aiming to make sure that moms are getting well and having the support that they need so that they can raise these babies and to be healthy individuals and not kind of follow in the same path of addiction. The goal is to get treatment to moms and babies early and keep families together so DCS doesn't have to get involved. Kodak does have residential programs and other programs for women who struggle with addiction after they leave the hospital. It's good to see that they're getting help, but it just breaks my heart that these innocent babies mm -hmm. um, don't get a fair chance in the beginning. Mm -hmm. yep. Thank you, Whitney. Let's check